Okay, so what we're going to do, this is a pretty short lesson, because what we're going to do is take some build on some stuff that we've done in the previous lessons, which is learning about uh, doing ordered and unordered lists. But what we're going to do here is we're going to learn how to change the style of an unordered and an ordered list to be able to use circles, squares, even personalized images, and then for an ordered list uh, to be able to use numbers or ABCs or Roman numerals, etc. And so um, I've set some things up already here. I've set up two lists. Uh, one is what's going to be an ordered list, one, two, three, and the other is an unordered list. So let's just take a look at what, it def what those default to. So they default to one, two, three, and then little circle bullets here. Um, but what I can do is I can create classes uh, so that I can specify how I want those list items to show up. And you can see that I've attached an a uh, period O'Leary ordered list to the ordered list class O'Leary ordered list and then I have attached a O'Leary unordered list class to the unordered list. So right now let's start with the unordered list. That starts with a um, right now that has a uh, just a circle bullet. Um, if you go back to your review lesson you can see the properties that we're going to be using here. We're going to be using list style type for this and then we're going to be using um, list style type image later on we're going to create an image and we'll come back to this when we want to do uh, different like for the un for the ordered list right now let's focus on the unordered list so we're going to do list style type and we're going to cycle back um, between different things so uh, unordered list we're going to do list style type equals square to do that first Save Workshop web page. You can see that I changed from a circle to a square. Pretty cool, right? Now what I can do is I can change that to a disk, which is going to be not a circle that is blocked in, but a circle that is empty. Oh, I thought that was what that was called. List style type disk. Okay, well let's try list style type circle. Okay, so I've had it mixed up. So this is circle, that means that it's uh, empty in the middle, and then if I want to do uh, where it is kind of a typical bullet, I can do that, change it to disk. Great. Now let's, um, let's play around a little bit more, and let's use um, another property here, which is going to be an image. So Okay, so we were able to move the, we were able to switch between a square and a circle with a blank inside of it or a circle filled in. Um, so let's see how we could add a an image to be a bullet. Um, so let's go in here and you can see that we have list style image and then in here you can specify a URL and then uh, a, just a link, an image link from anywhere on the web. So if you find like bullet icons through Google that you like or something like that you can uh, play around with those. Um, the key thing here is you want to find you got to find them the right size. But if you do a search on Google for bullet icons, um, then you're going to get a lot of different options. What I did was I took an image of my, me from Halloween and I made it small enough uh, that it would be a good size, and I used that. So we'll use that right here, and you can see that. I have list style image URL and then here is the link. You got to have this little uh, single quote here to specify it. But so right here, this is going to this um, property is going to say the declaration of property is going to say that for the class O'Leary unordered list, I want you to use this image as its bullet, and this is how it looks. So you can see here, this is me as the Hulk, um, and so that was my unordered list with these as my bullets. Okay, So what I want you to do is I want you to change the style, create an unordered list and change the style using a circle, square, and an image. And you can always go back to review lesson to see the different uh, the properties if you need a review. And then here are some of the different things that you can use. Circle, disk, and square. That's for unordered lists. Now let's take a look at ordered lists. And you can see change the style of an ordered list is our assignment. So let's go into our ordered list and we want to do list style type and let's put our apostrophe and let's just say that we want to do actually I have to go back and look here so let me copy this because remember if I just click on review lesson I'm going to lose my work unless I save web page but let's do review lesson and let's do um, 
upper alpha. Okay, I'm going to come in here and let's do this list and we want to do this upper alpha. And double check your, your text because remember it has to be, you want case sensitivity and you need to make sure you have this little hyphen there in the middle for it to work. So we're going to change this and make it um, a upper case letters and then if I want to change that and make that uh, lower alpha okay and then I can do let's see what Roman numeral looks like so we'll do upper Roman right here uh, copy too much all right and then we want to do lower Roman Okay, so you can switch between different things, numbers, in fact there are some other, uh, let's see, decimal leading zero, okay, and so that's going to give you some additional information on your unordered list, zero, 01, zero, 02, zero, 03. So you can play around with the different um, types here, you can look and see uh, some of the different list style types and play around with those, okay? So your style, you want to change the style of an unordered list, do a circle square image, change style of an, under, of an ordered list, do some of these, and then just experiment with different styles of lists using some of the uh, properties uh, that you can use here on this list.